Hey, Mark Scott, the reporting. I'm going to talk about the LARPers today. I'm going to try to separate the stories for now on because I know the LARPing community, the people that follow the soap opera that sells, you know, <laughs> arguably, you know, soap opera sells more than mainstream media. But the people that watch the soap opera tend to not watch much of the mainstream, the stuff that I talk about. So I'm going to try to separate those two. So we have two you know, uh, you know, d- different different audiences, different strokes for different folks. I know, you know, and, you know the the LARPing community, and it's this is a service, a public service to to the people online because it is fun to come online and 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 meet new people and learn new things. But sometimes there's a lot of snakes in the grass, right? And uh, you know, b- sharks in the water. So that is that is the service, the public service, is to expose the. Um, well, let's call it what it is. It's corruption online where people are fighting for your attention. They're being paid. They're, they're motivated by whatever to get in there and, and, and shift your narrative to agree with them and disagree with what you're hearing outside of yourself. Uh, so let's, but first, let's watch a movie. Let's watch a movie. You're going to fucking love this shit, man. I love this shit. Watch. See a movie. Dave Acton, the failed actor. Mr. Evelyn, I don't want you to think of this as like an official questioning because you're not a suspect. I just got to get a few things cleared up in my mind. Okay? Okay. You want something to drink? No, thank you. I have to have my coffee, so are you sure? Yes, I'm positive. I don't want any coffee. No, <coughs> well, Mrs. Evelyn, I feel for you. Yeah. I know that you were the one that's already identified the body. <coughs> Yes, I did. It's a horrible thing. I've been on the force about 25 years, and I still haven't gotten used to this kind of suffering. How's your son? Brandon? He's not my son. He's fine. It must be a terrible thing for him to go through, I mean. Failed actor. It's cringy, right? It's a little cringy. It's tough, man. It's tough to watch. Well, anyway. Mr. Devlin, as part of our routine investigation, I've asked for a copy of your psychological profile. I'm not sure you're aware of the eventual results. Are you aware of psychological profile? Probably, yes. You wouldn't mind if we discuss the diagnosis? <laughs> well, there is something strange here. Um, Medical expert has said. Oh, okay, we've had enough yet. Fucking torture you, man. <laughs> ah, Dave Acton, you, you, there you go, man. So you got your reel out there, Dave. You're doing good, man. You're doing good in the world. So let's talk about the real Dave Acton. That's the fake Dave Acton that tries to be a, a, a TV and radio star and puts out, I don't know, hundreds of videos, and they're all negative in nature. They're all either attacking his brother or attacking. His the 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 litigant in his case, Jason Goodman, or attacking me, is attacking Defango. He's attacking everybody. Right? He's an attacker. Right? Why does he do it? Right? Because I'm going to show you why. Right? It's an ultimate control. So I'm going to point out two players right now. Know who they are if you're online. Parody lives. Thomas Schoenberger. You've got Combat. Hyphen. Hy- he changes his name quite often. Dave Acton. He used to be uh, Prepper Kitty. Now he's Combat. Uh, exclamation point Dave Acton and Titus Frost. His real name is Dean Fagera. I didn't know that the last time I covered it, but now we know. So it's Dean Fagera, lives in Massachusetts, married two kids, claims to have an African American wife with two half African American children. It's all in his own testimony, right? So here he is, and he lives in Massachusetts. So these are the two guys, right? So I had him. I had him on the show. I, I didn't have him on the show, but I covered him because he seems he seems to me to fit the prof- profile of you know uh, these these um, uh, vigilante type killers, right? And I rattled off a bunch of them in the video. And now, is it is it fair to say that? Well, listen, listen one more time to what he said, and that was where I got the assumption. So let's listen to Titus Frost, Dean, whatever, in his own words. You know, I went to bed last night, woke up this morning, just really pissed off, really pissed off about this. We need people all the way up and down the I-19 corridor. We need people all the way up and down the I-10, you know, looking for this stuff. What they found, the found this thing was, there was two billboards, the guy said on the veterans thing last night. 
One billboard had two lights shot out. The next billboard had two lights shot out. In between those two billboards with the lights shot out was this place. That's how they found it. That was the signal. Okay? So, look for this. Like, if you see them doing that type of thing on the side of the highway, and you see some sort of trail or some sort of, you know, abandoned looking cement factory or something like that, grow some balls and go look because the fucking cops aren't going to do it. They're just not, you know. And we have a really serious problem going on and all the police want is more fucking money to do nothing. Okay, so they're not going to help, you know. We need veterans, armed American citizens. This is why the Second Amendment is so important, okay? You need legally armed American citizens to go down there and fucking find this shit. And if you find any of these traffickers, you fucking take care of them, all right? You find them and take care of them. Go around the police because the police are not going to do anything. Armed Americans go down there and go into the tunnels below the factories where he alleges are child, you know, child rings, child, child pedophile rings like Pizzagate and all that crazy pedophile shit, right? There's pedophiles on Mars too, you heard, according to people like Titus Frost. Uh, and and it's, it's just sick. It's crazy. It's, it sounds to me dangerous. It sounds unstable. And it's, it's not even close to being less than what we heard from other uh, other uh, uh, vigilante type killings, the ones you know that we talked about, right? Especially the guy in New Zealand, right? And most of them are they're ticking time bombs, meaning that they haven't blown up yet, right? And it's a big explosion when it does blow up. He's he's average, I don't know, twenties, thirties, whatever he is, white, right? And um, right? he's I don't know, he just fits he fits the profile and the and the mo of it. So that's why I did the report. So Mr. Frost. Uh, waited a little while and then he did his hit piece he came back at me right so the the point is with guys like Titus Frost where does he get his information from where is he finding this stuff out and that is the that is the overall point like rabbit holes like QAnon I where the where is the information flow coming from who is feeding these people the information is what is what we ultimately want to know right because how does somebody like in the, in the case of QAnon, we had the QAnon killer, where the kid with the Q on his hand took it upon himself to go and, and murder the Gambino crime boss, right? Uh, that's, that's the QAnon killer. You can follow the story. I've done 10 videos on it. Uh, so, so at what point does someone pop? Right? And, and Camillo had no, no criminal record. No, it was just, uh, again, just like Mr. Titus Frost. He had no, no involvement in politics. He was just a... You know, kind of a lone, you know, a lone wolf, and then he, and then explodes, right? So, so where does the information come from? So Titus Frost does another video, right? Twenty seven hundred views. The truth about Abel Danger, Field McConnell, and Timothy Holmstead. I don't know who these people are. I don't care. But nonetheless, he's doing a whole video, Look next twenty to your minute name, video, you have a and he's. <laughs> And he's basing the video on CheckmateK2.net, the study of fake news. Central, uh, Southern District of New York Federal Commission against Jason Goodman, Dave Charles Atkin, uh, Hawkins, and Abel Danger, right? Who the hell are these people, right? Look on, look on the side as well. You see the other uh, videos? They're all about Jason Goodman. They're about George Webb, Right? They're all, it's, it's a rigged, he's, he's talking to people, <laughs> he's basing his information on, on bullshit news. Now, is it bullshit news? Who is, who is this? Who is checkmate.k2.net? Right? So, we'll, I will talk about it in a second, but here's, here's another one, right? Now, here's another piece. He does a hit piece trying to defend himself, right? Stumbling through a hit piece, and he tries to defend himself and attack me, attack the reporter who reported it. Rather than attack the, 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 the substance of the video, he then he does that half-ass, half-assly, and then he attacks me personally, right? So he relies on, on, a, on a smear piece, apparently from Tracking Morose, right? We're going to look at that one. We're going to look at these two. 
Checkmate K2.net and tracking tracking morose. Right? Now these are two, what the fuck are they, right? Are they chat rooms? Are they are they what kind of boards? Where is the information coming from? So Titus Frost relies on on Checkmate to do his to do his report on I don't know what, right? On these other people, Able Danger and whoever else I just mentioned. I don't even know who they are. I don't care. And then he does uh, a rebuttal to me, basing it on something from Tricking Remote uh, Morose. Uh, so, who are they now? So we go to we go to Tracking Morose, and what is it? We find out that Tracking the Leopard Morose Christian Commentary on the Curse of Judges. 5.23, because they came not to the help of the Lord against the mighty. Uh, so now we're, now, we're, now we're going into silly season, right? He's on a Christian board by somebody, and we're going to look who, at who exactly that somebody is, right? So when you go there, guess what? There's another hit piece on Marcus Conti, right? But all of the, all of the shit, all of the uh, articles, quote articles, are all are all about George Webb, David Acton against Jason Goodman, loopholes and entrapment and tangling litigations, all about Jason and, and George Schwager. Now, who has, who has an interest in promoting this fake bullshit? That's Dave Acton. That's Dave Acton, right? That's, that's this guy, the fake actor, right? That's Dave Acton on the side, running around the, the chat rooms as combat and... and uh, and uh, right, so he's got he's he's got his foot in in this right. Why? Who is who is tracking Moreau's? Now Dave Acton has promoted this site over and over again, right? So he's promoting the site to the general public, right? And then he finds an idiot like a, a willful idiot like Titus Frost to then base all of his stories on it. Are you seeing the the picture now that the script writers gain control over the? the the fool the willful idiot the 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 kid that doesn't know any better that says yeah fuck it give me the shit yeah I want to get Conti give me something right? and he reaches for a frivolous pile of you know information you also see uh, so so that that's where it's coming from so so he's he's basing his reports on two sources checkmate k2.net and tracking the leopard morose right. So when we do further investigation, we find out who is tracking the leopard morose, right? If you do this, the, the research, and I'm not doxing anybody here too, at all, you just go to the contact page, and it says, Jacqueline, here's her email address, right? Her name is Jacqueline Weaver, who's doing this. If anyone desires to contact me, okay, yeah, I would actually. Here's your email address, uh, Jacqueline113. Somebody should contact her and ask her who the fuck she is, right? So then you go to Facebook and you realize here, here she is. That's definitely not her because it's saying that she graduated school. She's probably a 70-year-old cat lady somewhere. Or if she even exists. We don't even know if she exists. Let's look at her friends. So she has a total of 10 friends. Two, four, six, eight, ten. A total of 10 friends. She's, she's a publisher. She claims to be a publisher. Now, you're within your rights to do it. I, I don't see... Look, if you want to put together a WordPress page and, and put out propaganda, that's fine. That's not the point. But the point is that these idiots are relying on her. Dave Acton is feeding this cat lady information. She publishes it, and then Dave leans on it like it's legitimate news, promoting it to Titus Frost, who promotes it to 40,000 idiots that listen to him. See the connection? So Dave Atkin, in this case... Dave Acton, Dave Schwaggart is the, is the script writer, for lack of a better term. So, so there's her friends. There is her timeline about her garden. And who the hell knows what, right? What, what about about her? Let's look at about her. About her, she's, she studied at, at Washington. She lives in Oak Grove, Mississippi. And she's from Seattle, Washington. All right, so what about, what are the details? What are the details from, married since 1984, apparently female, 
And she went to Shorecrest High School in Shoreline, Washington, if anybody knows about it. But she, um, she apparently, according to the... Uh, oh, that's, that's where I got the information. So if you, if you graduated... If you graduated in, um, she's about, uh, roughly 70 years old. I figured it out before. I don't remember where. So, uh, so she graduated school in, uh, so th that's who this person is. Who cares, really, right? It's not, the point is, it's that, is that she's a nobody. She's some woman who Dave Acton, and I guarantee you could find the trail back to Dave Acton. Whatever the relationship is, she's just another cat lady Another cat lady that, that Dave Acton preyed on and got her to do some dirty work, right? Got her to do some dirty work. Started school, oh, there it is. Started school in 1968, right? So if she started university in 1968. That makes her born about 1948, 49, which makes her about approaching 70 years old, maybe a little older than 70 if she started school late. So 70, some 70-year-old 70 woman, you don't see her real picture, you don't have an address, you have 11 phony friends, right, if that. Right. So that's, that's who, that's who uh, Titus Frost is leaning on for his information. Information fed to him through this bogus website, tracking the leopard moros, who all the information turns out to be, all, it's all Dave Acton propaganda. So Dave Acton propagates the site using the cat lady in Mississippi, if she even exists. Maybe it's Dave Acton himself doing it. We don't, we don't know. It could be. Uh, so here's another article, and let's, let's confirm. Right. So here it is. How much does phantom bomb-sniffing dog handler... He writes, there's some sort of stupid hit piece on me. Who cares? I'm not going to read it. But we look, there's comments. Who's commenting? Ha, <laughs> ha, look. So it's Acton the Actor. Dave Acton, the actor, is the only one commenting, reblogging this on CheckmateK2.net. Now, the other thing is interesting is that this site stopped. That was the last article on August 25th, 2019. I, and that's the woman that did it. Now we have CheckmateK2.net, right? That's Dave Acton's other site. So right around the time uh, information stops appearing on one bogus site, it now starts to appear on the other side. See, Dave, Dave Acton, the failed actor, is now changing, changing his, his source of information. And Titus Frost follows that perfectly, right? I told you, there it is. Right? So he's following the story from one site, and then he's following it in, in the other. All of the information that he's relying on for his smear piece and for his you know, what, for lack of a better term, editorial, is all based on Dave Acton's research. The failed actor, the frivolous, confirmed conspiracy theorist from the Southern District of New York. The brother of the conspiracy theorist, George Webb, who runs around Washington, D.C., telling fake stories. It's so, it's so ridiculous. But again, people are interested in it, and so that's why I'll talk about it. So, so there you go. Titus Frost debunked. Right? His, the research that he's relying on is coming from one of his, quote, handlers. And that's this guy. Right? It's the guy on the right. Now, there's another handler, and that's the guy on the left. That's, that's Schoenberger. Right? So it's good cop, bad cop. Uh, act, act in, and sometimes they switch roles. One is good cop, one is bad cop. But right now, to Titus Frost, I don't know who the bad cop is and who the good cop is. But I can tell you how they approach people based on how these imbeciles have approached me for whatever reason. Right? I don't know. I'm just a reporter, but they seem to, you know, fancy my reporting right? and, and approach me. Right? So, so, that's, so that's, the, that's Dave Acton, how the research is, is seeded. And the other guy is, is the um, crypto beast, Steve Outram, who also provides research to people like this based on, again, circumstantial evidence, based on hearsay, based on propaganda. It's the same thing as Q. Right? That's what I'm trying to say. It's, an, it's a psyop in the same way that Q is. Right, so, so, that's, so let's look at the second character, right? So that's, um, that's Dave Atkin. And now let's look at, at, at uh, 
at uh, Mr. Parody Lives. Again, remember their name. So Parody Lives, right? For three times, right, I have a file now, I don't know, maybe 60 emails and running, where first Mr. Parody Lives, Mr. Thomas Schoenberger, reaches out to this reporter because he disagreed with something that I said with Defango when I had Defango, who was a internet personality and who I wanted to talk to and had on my show. And Mr. Parody Lives, Mr. Schoenberger, disagreed with that and tried to push his way into an interview where I would interview him. And I said, well, who the fuck are you? I don't know who you are. That's how it started, right? So he unsolicitedly sends me a request for an interview. And I say, okay, let, let me hear him out. And then I find out that he's, he's in this, he, I don't know who he is. And I find out that he's, how deep into the rabbit hole he is as well, where he's connected to the, the, the Ed Butowski guy or these fucking guys, right? They're all connected in some ridiculous way, right? So he sends me a bunch of emails, right? And I say, well, I don't think the story is for me because you, I find, I think you're, you're lying, right? He's trying to say that Defango uh, uh, tried to bug Seth Rich's brother's house, the Seth Rich family's house, and Defango was saying, Thomas Schoenberger, this guy is the guy that set the whole thing up. So I don't know who, the, who they, who, who's who in this matter. And I said, it's not for me. Fuck you. Get out of my face, right? I don't want to talk about it. I'm not interested, right? So he, he proceeds to bomb me with 40, 50 emails, which I ignore. Uh, and there was another chain of emails where he's always approaching me as if I approached him first. All the evidence is in the record. So again, now, as Titus Frost is, is, um, is sending out his message, his hit piece, based on falsified information by Dave Acton, the bad cop comes in. So I'm so I guess within the within the same time frame while Titus Frost is doing his video, uh, Mr. Parody Lives puts out another hit piece. Right? He he attacks me on on email, unsolicited email. After being told countless times not to contact me, he still does it anyway. Right? So he says, Titus Frost read off your five convictions, asshole. I don't know if he sounds like that, but he certainly he certainly sounds like that to me. I'm, I'm now reporting you to the New York Police Department. You're f you fucking scumbag, Marcus. You stalked my 19-year-old. You're going down, you scumbag. Thomas. So that's the way he talks to you, right? So he, he's, he's doing these, he's sending you emails, right? Bad cop. He wants me to know that Titus Frost is doing a hit piece on me. Now, all my information is, is public record. There is no doxing when it comes to Marcus Conti. My name is Marcus Conti. My mother named me Mark. I, my, my pen name, my psychic pen name throughout the 90s was Marcus Goodwin. I came up with the idea because if you're good, you'll win. I, I thought that being Conti would be too ethnical. I grew up in an Italian neighborhood. I talk with a broken accent. I tried to get away from it, and I named myself Marcus Goodwin for the sake of writing. Now, it's not a Jewish name or any of that shit, right? But it's a pen name, right? My, and I, in the book, The Psychic Investor, I tell you my real name, my birth name. So there's no, de there's no doxing. And in terms of conviction record and drug, drug addiction, I've, I've been on the record for, you know, I wrote a book about it. Wake Yourself Up, Spiritual Enlightenment, right here, right now. You can read it for free down below. Pop it open, and I tell you about the, um, the devastation of heroin addiction, opiate addiction, and, and, and uh, overcoming that and all the criminal activity that comes with that. Right? So I've, again, I've been sober for 25, 26 years, 25 years, something like that, since 1994. All right, so, so, so Schoenberger is the bad cop. You motherfucker, you fucking scumbag, Marcus, you're stalking my 19-year-old. Stalking his 19-year-old. Well, uh, so who is his 19-year-old? Now, People send me stuff all the time, and we are interested in Mr. Schoenberger because there does appear to be a warrant for his arrest uh, because he's stalking people. I told you the story about how he pretended to be a medical doctor. He contacted someone, else, someone else's medical doctor, psychiatrist, as a medical doctor, pretending to be a, in, you know, impersonating a medical doctor, speaking with the doctor on the record. The doctor takes notes, and it becomes part of the medical record, and the the client finds out about it and says, I don't have no Dr. Schoenberger. Right? So you see how, how, and that's a felony, right? So he's, he's wanted for questioning on that charge. And also he has a whole bunch of, um, 
uh, restraining orders from different people that he's, he has stalked online. Uh, so these people are sending me information, and one of that bits of information happens to be about Pow, his son, whose name, I don't know if it is his son, we're going to find out, but Wolfgang Schoenberger, Santa, again, this is just public record. This is uh, Lincoln's, Lincoln, all right? San, uh, San, we want to know about his son because maybe his son doesn't know that his father is a is a predator online that is you know is is um, stalking people and scaring people and um, breaking the law, committing felonies. So, what we really want to know from his son, if your son is listening, hey Wolfgang, can you kindly give us your give your give us your father's address so we can bring him in for questioning and ask him what the hell is going on? Right? Why is he doing all this stuff? Right? So. So that's the allegation. Did I ever, have I ever, you stalk my 19-year-old. I don't know who his 19-year-old son is other than what the Lincoln, LinkedIn uh, profile says, the publicly accessed Lincoln. He goes to San Clara University uh, Business School in California. Right? He's connected with 245 people. Okay. Right, he's 19 years old. So Thomas Schoenberger, does he have a record of stalking people? Uh, am I making it up? Am I, am I, flu so again, back to Titus Frost, how it influences Titus Frost. How do you know why all of a sudden he's using Titus Frost in the headline? Titus, Titus just ran off your convictions. So what? But who cares, right? Why are you, why are you backing Titus Frost? Because again, Titus Frost is the useful idiot. Good cop, bad cop, Right? Good cop, bad cop. That's who they are. Right? So, so Atkin is providing him with the information. Right? Follow? He, in, the, in the form of Leopard Moreau's and tracking uh, and um, K2.net. To, to nothing, the equivalent of comments on a, on a comment board. That's all they are. Right? They're not publications. You could call them publications, but they're well thought out smear pieces where the the gang, the, the gang stalk, the preparation for something later is based on frivolous information. And the front face is Titus Frost, the young guy who they think can, can connect with an audience. Uh, you, you, see the, you see the setup? Uh, so, so this is Schoenberger. This is somebody who um, put together a piece. Thank you, Monkey Savant. Uh, who there's a lot of information. All you have to do is put in Thomas Schoenberger, spell his name right, and you'll see uh, uh, an immense uh, record of extortion, of you know swindling people out of money. So these guys put together this piece. Check this out. So he's it's a response. Combat. He has five convictions. They're talking about this reporter right here, right, uh, for assault. <laughs> he is ripe for a suit. Right? So now they're planning a lawsuit to shut me the fuck up, right? That's what they do, right? Sue the publication that is exposing you for the fraud that you are. Right? So these guys are coming to bat. Thank you. I don't know who you guys are, but thank you very much. Monkey saving. Right? So, um, so howdy, Combat. I saw, so, so Combat is not, Atkin isn't in this. Uh, he's in the thread, obviously, because somebody's responding to him. I saw that kind of like Jimmy's crown Vic. I don't know what they're talking about. But nonetheless, they're all in the thread, wherever these people are right now. And they're communicating to each other, where Schoenberger is encouraging combat to sue him. He's encouraging... He's in, Thomas Schoenberger is encouraging David Schwagart to sue this reporter for something. Just anything, it doesn't matter because, again, they, they're, they're frivolous lawsuits, incomprehensible and illogical online conspiracy theories. Right. You follow? So there's a lot going on here. There's, here's a, a Supreme Court uh, you know, ruling. It's somebody suing, uh, uh, suing Schoenberger. Here's another one. Schoenberger is the uh, is always the defendant being sued. Here he's being sued. All right, we have you know, and you can go through this piece by piece. There's quite a bit of information on these people. Isabel 
Gather versus Thomas Schoenberger, ex-wife maybe, I don't know. All right, for damages, he stole $400,000 from somebody. All in 2014, this one. Here he's being charged for fraud in the second degree. It's a lot of fraud. Here's another one, 2016. So in addition to all of these, there's also uh, DeFango. Um, DeFango, right? he also has a restraining order on this guy that he hasn't been able to serve yet because Schoenberger is so elusive. So, so that's so that's the that's the scenario, right? So you see how how the the team of these guys, right? The team of Titus Frost as the front. There's Thomas Schoenberger, Parody Lives, sneaking up on people. You motherfucker! You fucking scumbag! God damn, I'm gonna fuck you! Uh, and then there's there's Combat Dave Acton making 20 videos, sometimes three a day, about this reporter, um, accusing him of I, I don't know what. Just it just it just it's total stupidity, right? So where do they all meet these days? Ah, there's the, the uh, Lepo, Lepo, Gay Lepo from L.A., right? This is some fucking failed rock star, right, from L.A., has put together Vapor Bat, Vapor Bat Records. Right? And this is where they all meet. Sweet and you watch the stupidity. Well, Jiminy, ordinarily. But what, what's most striking about this um, site, and you can go look at it, it's very, again, very, very, uh, it's an inside pool kind of thing. It's 266 views. Teenage FBI. Yeah, they are teenagers. It's a very good name, Mr. Lepo. And but you see in the in the in the in the box down below it says elusive teenage FBI live psyop. Oh, they're admitting that it's a psyop. They're gathering their players. And you could see, look who the players. Look in the in the in the comments, you see it. There he is. There's um there's Dave Acton. Dave Acton Schwaggert, right? They're talking, right? Communicating to each other, right? This is the, this is the, the, the gathering up, right? Now, if you thumb through this, I'm in here a couple of times. They're, they're taking shots. Here we go. I, I don't care. It doesn't matter to me, right? Oh, these weird characters, right? You're welcome to use them, right? They're exalting Dave Acton, the failed actor. Failed actor, the crisis actor. Hi, this is Dave. Hey, everybody, hey, this, this is Dave. Dave. So they, what they do is, this is basically like, it's the equivalent of, remember when the Nazis or Big Brother where the screen was and, and, and to brainwash the, the, um, the people in the audience, you'd have to watch the, the hate speech, right? And that's what it is. It's two and a half hours, three hours. Who, who in their right mind would sit and watch something so like, like this? Uh, but you're watching, you're watching essentially hate speech and you'll see all the players come in. You'll see... They hate this lady for some reason. This is um, some, some lady who always talks about her, her uh, child who died. And uh, he is part of the terrorist team. She goes online calling them terrorists. I don't know much about her, I, you know. The con QAnon conspiracy team. She apparently allegedly was involved in, in the QAnon thing. She called out a couple of players. And they just, they just bash the shit out of this lady. So I, I don't know what it is, but it's hate. You got to hate somebody. Hate her. Guys, hate me. I'm the reporter. Turn your focus away from the, from the lady who's, who's mourning for her sick child. Hate me. Bring the fucking hate right here. Okay? Put the hate on Conti. Go ahead. Do it. Put the hate right here. Lepo, put the fucking hate. Hate me all you want. That's okay. Leave people alone. Leave innocent bystanders the, the fuck alone. Pretty mom scare. Uh, so he you tries, can, again, you could stream through said, it, okay, you'll see Parody Lives come in. You are in so goddamn much there trouble. Uh, so he, here he is in the same stream as uh, Dave Acton, Thomas Schoenberger, Parody Lives. That's the, the handle he uses. 
right? As evidenced right here in his email, Parody Lives, that's him. He doesn't deny that it's him. All right, so, woo, Marcus Conti reporting. Wow, I hope that was helpful to the community that likes this kind of thing because it's kind of boring to me, and, but it is interesting because I don't want to be... I don't want to be somebody who comes online and then is suddenly, you know, stalked by some psychopath right? and uh, smeared. But what is, the, what is the profit motive, right? Let me just sum it up with the profit motive, right? The bigger picture is creating a psyop of fear, fear porn. Put all the angry people together, all the misfits, right? And, and promote it using fake news, fake you know, fake stories, right? Create your own stories. Then create a gang that, that leans on that fake story like a Titus Frost. Right? And then you, you, you project those fake stories out there. Why? Why would you spend all your time doing this, right? Well, there is a profit motive to it because during election seasons, super PACs will fund idiots like this to, I don't know, to challenge. That's the, the challenge online discourse. That's the essence of Correct a Record. That's what Correct a Record was. The DNC used Correct a Record to attack Bernie Sanders' supporters online. So these guys, and it's, it's all documented. Schoenberger is actually was involved in a company, a failed company. They had two clients that he tried to create a company and failed. Right? He created it with Defango. And so the nature of the business, and Defango has told me this, the nature of the business was to take money and then attack people that disagreed with the discourse to, to build up a, uh, a, a, a gang and stalk people in a sense, online stalking, not real life stalking, but they've taken it off the board and I've shown you examples of where they're, they're online stalking. Right. And again, you know, you can, my, all my information is, is, is public record. Right? So you can come online Go into my first 100, 200, 300 videos, and you could pop open any legal document. You could find out my name, my, my address, my phone number. In fact, you know what? If you want to buy some stickers, if you buy some stickers on eBay, right, I send you stickers, and I, I, pa I back package them up, I, and I send them out. You get six for five on eBay. Right? And guess what? It has a return address on it, and that's my return address, right? It's, it's no, there's no secret because in New York, you could get in the building, right? Like I said, you could get in the building, but you're not going to get out. Right? That's just that's the way the fucking shit is, man. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter you know my address. Right? It doesn't fucking matter, right? So anyway, but that's how I look. Be who you are. Put yourself out there. Right? Now, um, what else did I want to say? I had another thought. Right? Oh, yeah. So, you know, so, so docs. So anyway, Marcus Conti reporting on this very uh, uh, strange subject. And a lot of people have said, hey, Conti, why are you following these guys? Why are you following these guys? Because it matters. To me, it matters where, where that you can hate on the deep state. You could hate on Hillary Clinton and James Comey and all the big picture and, 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 and find all the dirty evidence of election fraud. But why, when, but, but right in your own backyard, you have predators trying to manipulate your consciousness away from the real the real facts in the matter and i think that that's the uh, that's the ultimate takeaway marcus conte oh that's what i wanted to say all of the players in this finally all of the players in this scenario have been invited on my show david Act acton i gave him an invitation to come on my show he declined i've given titus frost the opportunity to come on my show Rather than come on my show, he blocks me from even speaking to him. Right? I sent him a nice, a nice uh, email to him. Thomas Schoenberger, I, I refused to interview him because he was nasty and abusive. Right? But Mr. Schoenberger, if Mr. Schoenberger should present a nice, a nice email, a polite email requesting a couple of minutes online to have a discussion with me, I would be open to doing that. But again, only you could see, once we're online, once I hit the once I hit the record button and we have an open discussion, you could call me anything fucking you want, right? That doesn't matter. But the point is, if you approach me like an asshole, I'm going to treat you like an asshole. Right? So if you want to come on my show, I'll give you the invitation one more time. Right? Come on my show. We'll make a nice video. All right? So all of the all of the people that I'm talking about, including including. Um, the, this this woman here, the the uh, truth convoy, who they call the tooth fairy, right? 
Come on my show, and we'll talk about it. I want to find out anybody else. Also, you know, the other players, anybody who wants to come on and talk about this LARP uh, thing, if you are a prominent player in it, I want to definitely talk to you, and I want to understand. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. All the things that I just said today, come on the show and prove me wrong. Instead, you can make 100 stupid videos that nobody listens to and nobody talks to, or you can face the, you can face the accuser. Right? That's the better way to do it. Marcus Conti reporting.